this uh, disaster. I know uh, that uh, all of you are here to see the movie and not to listen to me, but uh, let me have five minutes. Uh, I'm often asked by American friends, how's Japan now? How Japanese are feeling? And I can't really summarize it, saying that, no, we're good, or something like that, because it was a huge disaster. Magnitude 9.0, which was once in 1,000 years in Japan. Tsunami, 133 feet. Think of 133 feet water coming to you. And nuclear accident. It's the first time that human, uh, mankind has experienced these combinations. And so, it's diversified. Some people think that uh, we are doing very good. Some people think that... Uh, Progress is so slow. This is the truth. However, what I can say is that we are on the recovery road. And this is, I am pretty hopeful for that. One, because we have come around from disasters, World War II, oil shocks, and other difficulties. So, we are known as comeback kid, in that sense. <laughs> Second, we are trying to be united in solving this disaster. Of course, not in all the sense I can say. It's not ideal, but still, we are trying to do that. Third, we know that we are not alone. We are helped by people around the world, especially American people. You helped us. Your government, your people, your companies, and American people, including kids and everyone, really extended hands and stood with us at our most difficult moment. Three weeks ago, I was in Japan, in affected area. I asked them, is there any message from Amer ja uh, them to American friends? They said two things governors and mayors and other people. One, please convey our gratitude. Second, please remember us. The recovery will take time. Please don't forget us. Please trade with us. Please invest in us and please visit us. This was their plea. Again, the Japanese people will never forget your friendship that you have stood with us at our most difficult time. This meant a lot to us. So, representing all Japanese, I would say from bottom of our heart, arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ambassador Fukusaki. Now I'd like to welcome uh, Joe Kapora to say a few words great friend of, of the Environmental Film Festival and, and a great friend of all of us who work at the festival. And uh, Joe, we, we remain very grateful uh, for the establishment of this award uh, in memory of Polly. Uh, so with that, could you uh, uh, please, oh, and I should also mention, and I'm sure uh, uh, this may come out in uh, uh, Joe's comments as well, but he is a, a long time and a great admirer of, of all things Japanese. So. When we saw this film and, and selected it for uh, the Poly Couture Award, we knew that uh, Joe would, would really be thrilled to, to hear about the decision. So uh, please help me welcome Joe Krakora. Good evening, and thank you all for taking the time and sharing your time with us this evening. When Polly had her stroke in 2005, she stayed in the hospital for nearly two and a half months. While she was there, I had my favorite haiku poem by a monk named Santoka silk screened on our staircase wall to welcome her home and to allow us both to pass and ponder it each and every day. It's still there. It's simple and clearly says, Joyous things happen, sad things happen, grass grows. 
For centuries, the people of Japan have demonstrated the exceptional ability to capture the essence of the world around them, as if holding a magnifying glass under the sun and burning a tiny hole into the center of a piece of paper, always helping us to see in new and different ways. This evening, we celebrate a gifted filmmaker and her poetically powerful film that captures not only the essence of Japan, but the soul of Japan. This film, this award, and this evening are all in tribute to the citizens, the strength, and the spirit of Japan. Congratulations on behalf of all of us, and thank you for your remarkable work. 